podcast. We have a very exciting topic. This is my favorite topic then. But before that, we should always pay our obeisances, pay our respects, and to be in the proper mood in studying the scriptures, doing spiritual activities, even yoga. So join me as we recite the invocation mantras. And first of all, good morning, Kairo Raul Prabhu Hare Krishna, John Mataji Hare Krishna, Nikita Mataji Hare Krishna, Raymond Prabhu Hare Krishna, Gina Mataji Hare Krishna. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate. Vashudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vashudevaya Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chaivam Narotamam Devim Sarashvatim Vyasam Tato Jayam Udirayet Nasta Prayasu Abhadreshu Nityam Bhagavati Sevaya Bhagavate Uttamas Loke Bhaktir Bhavati Nastiki. I offer my obeisances to the Supreme Personality of God at Vashudev. Before reciting this Srimad Bhagavatam, which is the very means of, co of conquest, one should offer respectful obeisances unto the Personality of God at Narayan, unto Narayan, Nara Narayan Rishi, a supermost human being, unto Mother Sarashwati, the goddess of learning, and to Unto Srila Vyasadev, the order. By regular attendance in classes on the Srimad Bhagavatam and by rendering of the service to the pure devotee, all, the, all that is troublesome to the heart is almost completely destroyed and loving service unto the personality of God who is praised with transcendental songs is established as an irrevocable fact. So, magandang magandang umaga. Good morning. It's always very sacred and um, nakabuhay ng araw when we start serving Srimad Bhagavatam in the morning. Studying the books and serving the person Bhagavatam. So, ganun siya importante. So, previously, we did discuss yung mga questions ng sages kay Suta Goswami. And to little yun, they have six questions that will be in the first chapter ng Canto um, 1. And yung answers neto will be spread the whole Srimad Bhagavatam. Kaya sobrang favorite ko rin tong topic na to. Specifically, learning from um, the scriptures. Kasi we have the Raja Rishis. Or the saintly kings. But before that, yung discuss natin last time, they discuss about first two questions. Ano ba yung ultimate good daw for everyone? Tiyanong ng mga sages kay Suta Goswami. Second is, ang daming scriptures. Ano yung pinaka-essence? You know, people don't have time in this Kali Yuga. They don't have the attention span. They don't have the interest. Pwede sila maligaw kung saan-saan lang din. Ang dami lang pwedeng gawin mysticism, um, med just meditation, just yoga, or other things. Just knowledge. Ano yung pinaka-essence para um, makuha nila yung buong nectar ng lahat ng scriptures na yun. Then, another question they'd ask is yung pangatlo. Tiyanong nila, bakit si Krishna napunta sa womb ni Devaki. And naging tatay niya si Vashudev. Kasi siya yung Supreme Personality of Godhead. Bakit siya nagpunta doon? So it talks about Krishna's appearance. Sobra importante to know Krishna's appearance and um, his divine activities. There's a verse in Srimad Bhagavad Gita 
if one knows the uh, his transcendental appearance and activities, um, he, he will be saved. And um, he could go back home, back to Godhead. So, habang sinasabi nila to, they were very eager to learn. Pinakita nila yung hearing interest nila and sa um, sobrang eagerness nila to hear. And that's one quality of a student. Siyempre tayo, nung pumunta tayo sa school, ang sarap ng pumunta doon pero yung mind natin lumilipad. <laughs> Tapos, or our favorite ko noon when I was in school, marami akong doodles sa likod ng notebook or yung mismong libro ko nung college habang maraming text, ang daming background na sa nakadrawing kasi my mind is traveling everywhere. May journey, sarili siyang journey. Although, naiintindihan ko subconsciously yung mga sa school, yung mga topics. Pero yeah, ayun yun. Yung eagerness is not 100%, yung attentiveness. So, a great student, it just means I, I wasn't a great student when I was in college. <laughs> so, a great student, lagi siyang very eager to learn. Paano malalaman yun? He asks questions. Um, ngayon, syempre, they took down notes. Sa panahon nila, wala silang notebook kasi they are shrutidar. Shrutidar is hearing, shruti. And dara is, um, could easily memorize it. Even once, meron silang photographic memory. Then they could pass it along. Siyempre, ngayong Kali Yuga, they have to write everything in the book. So, tinanong nga nila ni, ni Suta Goswami, yung pangatlo na yun, bakit kay Devaki and they Basho Day pinanganak? Ano yung appear, um, pastime ng appearance na yun? Then, kung makikita mo rin sa chapter 14, habang nag-uusap sila, he, they are asking questions at the same time. They are also glorifying Sota Goswami. So, that's very pleasing. And that's um, the proper way to inquire. Not just, of course, not challenge, not to um, just plainly doubt and disrespectful. They ask questions in the mood of request. And they glorify yung teacher. In the 14th um, verse, nindescribe nila rito, living beings who are entangled in the complicated meshes of birth and death can be freed immediately by even unconsciously chanting the holy name of Krishna which is feared by fear personified. Even yung tao na very entangled sa cycle ng birth and death, na material activities, if they chanted or hear, um, heard unconsciously yung, nam, yung um, name ni Krishna, yung chanting ng holy names, they could be freed. Kaya ganun ka importante yung um, people could hear the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Imagine the service that George Harrison made. Hanggang ngayon, maririnig. Kasi we, uh, he injected, hindi lang yung philosophy nung um, Shirmat Bhagavata and Bhagavad Gita sa mga kanta niya. If you could read the lyrics. Siyempre yung um, album nila nung ano na, nung solo na siya, mas marami yung injection ng Hare Krishna philosophy doon. And, nilagay din niya yung Hare Krishna Maha Mantra itself sa mga kanta niya. Imagine yung mga nakakarinig noon. Sabi dito, even unconsciously chanting the name of Krishna, they could be freed. So, pag may mga kamag-anak, alam ba yung Hare Krishna na yan? Lagi ko na, lagi ko na ulit-ulit. O kaya minsan pagalit pa sila, di ba? Puro Hare Krishna na lang ginagawa Wala, wala ako sa hunger pag tinatalang ako ng ganun. Nakapasmell din ako kasi, of course, kahit um, hindi, hindi um, very pleasurable and hindi sobrang um, in the right mood sila, they, but they still chanted Krishna's name. Yung seed of bhakti, seed of that spiritual life, natatanim na sa kanila yun. And, 
they could be free from the meshes. Mesh is sobrang bol-bol din yung mesh. And di ka basa-basa mga katakas. Parang, um, you know, like those hunters, meron silang net. Pag nahuli ka ng net na yun, di ka basa-basa mga katakas. That's birth and death. Pero, if one heard na Hare Krishna Mahamansha, then he could be easily freed. Why? You name ni Krishna, and si Krishna himself is identical. Hindi sila magkaiba. When one chanted Krishna's name, he is automatically with Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God. And, of course, yung mga devotees, kung naalala nyo, pag some, something or someone is in danger or we are in danger, hindi sila nag tumatawag ng isang kung sinong-sinong name or just trying to express something, some words. Devotees are chanting Krishna's name in the midst of danger. They take advantage. They don't know, baka yun yung last time nila, then they could die. So, sinasanay nila yung sarili nila, Oh, Krishna! Oh, my Krishna! May problema sila, masaya sila, or may aksidente, even may malaglag na nabagay, ginagawa nilang habit yung sisigaw sila as Krishna's, Krishna's name. Kesa kung ano-ano pa yung masigaw nila. Kesa tumili pa sila. Diba? So, ayun yung mga um, practice ng mga devotees. And that's because there's a philosophy behind that. Even unconsciously, basta you always chant Krishna and also the others, even other living entities, kahit pets pa yan or um, non-moving living entities, kahit yung mga trees and all, if they heard Krishna's name, even unconsciously, they got all the benefit. Then, it was discussed here, naalala ko si Trina when they were here in Braj, Tinatanong niya, ano ba yung Ganges water? So, Ganges is a holy river in India. May maraming magagandang stories about sa Ganges River. It is uh, a celestial water, galing sa spiritual world, na napunta dito sa um, material plane. And sobrang lakas nung forest na yon, it could destroy the earth. Pero ang sumalo nung water na yun is the Lord Shiva. Tumadaan sa head niya. Then we will go to his feet. And then, nagka-flow siya from Himalayas. So it's a spiritual water coming from a spiritual world. People take advantage and um, visit Ganges River. They um, bait sa Ganges River to purify themselves. So, um, linis sila ng ano, nagilinis sila ng scenes nila while they're um, taking bath sa Ganges River. So, kaya, that is the Holy River. One of, one of the holiest river. Pero, in the chapter 15, it was described yung um, Ganges River versus devotees. Let's read the translation. O Sutta, those great sages, sages and saintly persons, who have completely taken shelter of the lotus feet of the Lord, can at once sanctify those who come in touch with them. Whereas the waters of Ganges can sanctify only after prolonged use. So even hindi ka pumunta sa Ganges River, kapag meron ka lang association, sa mga um, great saintly persons, it is actually more than taking baths sa Ganges River. Pure devotees of the Lord are more powerful than the waters of the sacred river Ganges. Why? Yung mga tao, they clean, they clean themselves sa Ganges River. All their past karmas, unwanted baggages, Nalilinis ang Gadgets River. Andun lang yun. Iwan yun doon. But the Ganges River are being purified kapag pumunta yung mga pure devotees ni Krishna doon.
So imagine, Ganges River, they're um, cleansing not just physically yung mga tao, but all the sins. Pero syempre, yung mga tao na yon, pagbalik nila sa bahay nila or pag alis nila sa Ganges River, they'll continue doing the sins. Unlike the devotees, pag pumunta siya sa Ganges River, yung Ganges River nalilinis. And yung mga tao that could have in contact sa mga pure devotees, hindi lang sila nag-cleanse. At the same time, yung seed of bhakti, yung start ng kanya na spiritual life, nag start na rin. So if you were to choose, kahit na sa India ka, to go to the Ganges River, if may choice lang, pero mas maganda magawa mo pareho, or to here, to have association of pure devotees, we go to the pure devotees. That's the essence. Sabi nga ng mga sages, just taking bath of these um, holy rivers or makunda, reservoir of water, are some hindrances. Kasi maraming gumagawa din nun. Pero they could not really develop, it could help, but could not really develop the love for Krishna. Kasi they're just cleansing. It could help, pero yung um love for krishna could really could be really um have the biggest effect biggest benefit kapag may association on devotees how we drink the nectar through the ears so yung hearing from pure devotees could easily cleanse one's um sinful life and madali siya matangle dun sa birth and death. Kasi, yung kayang ibigay ng pure devotee is the most confidential knowledge. Kung natandaan yun, the connection to Krishna. How to please Krishna, how to have their loving relationship with Krishna. Naganyas River, good friends. Pero yung love for Godhead, hindi basta-basta nabibigay. And, yung pure devotees are the most humble servant of Krishna. It is mentioned in the last sentence of verse, the sincere disciple of the pure devotee considers the spiritual master equal to the Lord, but always considers himself to be pure humble servant of the servant of the Lord. Yung mga, it was described here, yung characteristic ng isang pure devotee, even the spiritual master. They don't think of self, themselves na, ah, I'm a pure devotee, 60 na lang sa chinachan ko. <laughs> well, yeah, two years na ako nagkachant ng Hare Krishna, two years na ako, um, ganito yung practice. No? The more the, a devotee advances, the more he thinks na hindi siya qualified. The more iniisip niya na hindi siya advanced. And the more na mas naisip niya na he is a servant of the servant of the servant. And in the practice of um, spirituality, practice of Krishna consciousness, we always try to serve yung mga mas um, latest na na-introduce sa Krishna consciousness. We want to give them yung sobrang kakaibang experience in Krishna consciousness, specifically yung first few encounters sila sa practice. Kasi it will leave a mark. At the same time, when one serves the newer bhakta or bhaktins, it gives an inspiration sa devotee na yun na um, they could share Krishna to others. And those new, newer ones, they could be inspired na, yes, they could really feel yung warmth and hospitality na meron yung mga devotees. Kasi that's um, what the relationship of devotees should be. That ra- loving relationship. So in that mood, even those who are advanced devotees, they don't see themselves ad- as the most advanced. And they are just really humble, taking themselves to be the servant of the servant of the servant. 
in the 16th um, verse, sobrang importante. Ito na yung favorite natin, favorite ko na topic. It is mentioned here, those desiring deliverance from the vices of age of the age of quarrel, Kali Yuga, who is not willing to hear the virtuous glories of the Lord. Kasi this Kali Yuga is um, saturated, siksik siya, sobrang, sobrang um, punong-puno ng vicious habits. People ha have a lot of um, bad habits in this Kali Yuga. You could observe. Sa four principles na yon, people are so addicted to intoxication or just addicted to illicit sex, addicted to gambling, addicted, addicted to meat eating. Nakakita mo, lahat depende sa meat eating. Everywhere. For the longest time. That's Kali Yuga. And they have sobrang grabe ng mga fight, even sa slightest misunderstanding. They could easily break yung relationships, even yung long friendship, kaya i-break ng very slight misunderstanding. That's the characteristic of Kali Yuga. So, Prabhupada is always, and even the whole scriptures, um, hindi lang sila nag-base na para sa audience for the general. They also focuses a lot, actually, even Krishna, yung teachings to be heard ng mga leaders. The leaders of the people are very much anxious to live in peace and friendship, but they have no information of the simple method of hearing the glories of the Lord. Kasi they're very busy trying to develop the economy, trying to implement rules and regulations, or trying to be famous. So these are the failures of the leaders because they deny the existence of Krishna. Krishna, however, bumababa siya sa material world, lagi siyang may role ng leadership. Favorite ko kasi yung mga, um, personally, I, I would read yung mga leadership books, leadership, I observe mga leaders uh, sa society. They are very charming. <laughs> Tituro din nila yun. Diba? Ang sukatan ng mga leaders, ng ibang mga leaders is, by their success in money, they could um, arrange people, delegate tasks, make systems. Then the result for them is money. Some of them are influence. They could do the charm, the communication skills and all to have a larger influence. Iba by position, by power. Iba just passion, bringing the passion out of people. Pero, sabi ni Srila Prabhupada, these um, leaders um, want to have the friendship and peace sa mundo, even sa sarili nila. But the Kali Yuga could easily sway everyone. That's the nature of this yuga. Kaya kaya niyang dalhin yung mga tao. He could just give money, he could just give um, power and um, women. Kaya niyang sirain sa leader. Madalas, ayun yung ano, um, destruction ng leaders. Lost hunger and greed. Those three gates of hell. Kaya siya sirain ng babae or ng lalaki of the, yung because of loss, kaya siyang sirain ng anger and greed pag nandiyan na yung power, nandiyan na yung money. And Prabhupada um, 
emphasizes if he wa if we want actual peace, we must open the road of, to understanding of the Supreme Lord Krishna and glorify him for virtuous activities as they are depicted in the page of Srimad Bhagavatam. All throughout this Bhagavatam, there are a lot of leadership stories, lessons that we could learn. Sino nagturo? By the um, living example na ginawa ni Krishna mismo. Siya mismo, he was a leader. He display yung mga leadership qualities niya. And yung mga pure devotees niya were leaders as well. And the birong leaders, again, they are Raja Rishis. Raja is king, Maharaj, or Raja. Sa Pilipinas, same ginagamit yan. Raja Sulaiman, ganun. Raj. Raja is king. Rishis are saintly. They are saintly kings. The main duty, the first duty of a saintly king, of the real leader, is to make sure everyone is Krishna conscious. If people subordinate to him is Krishna conscious, in the right consciousness, the rest will follow. They wouldn't develop yung mga, ta yung mga tao, they wouldn't develop yung mga uh, unwanted habits or they wouldn't develop yung mga um, yung mga vices nila, yung thinking nila, wrong thinking. Because, alam yung root how to um, change people for good. That spiritual revolution. If you, if a leader uh, does this, alam niyo yung, um, the very first, alam nila yung right switch para dun sa um, betterment ng society. He's the greatest leader. And Krishna did this a lot of times in this book, in Srimad Bhagavatam. And a lot of his pure devotees, empowered devotees, did this as well. And hindi biro yung nahandle na lang um, area of responsibilities. Madalas, the whole earth. And yung iba doon, like Lord Brahma, the whole universe. Hindi lang siya mayroong isang kumpanya tapos may 300 employees. No. So we would learn a lot of leadership examples here. And hindi lang kunento ni Krishna yon, ginawa niya mismo. How responsibility, yung responsibility ng isang leader should be. And how he takes the punishment then kapag may nangyayari. A Raja Rishi, even pag merong pandemic or merong bad weather, hindi umuulan because um, may mga kulang sila mga austerities and sacrifices. Kasalanan ng king yun. And even merong namatay na isang anak, na na namatay yung anak than the, the parents. Even that, kasalanan ng king yun. Ganun kalaki yung responsibility ng king. The right leader, even material leader, actually, sa panahon ngayon, lead the leaders takes the percent, some percentage of the karma ng subordinate niya. If he misled the people, hindi lang yung mga tao yung, syempre, pwedeng mangyari is yumaman lang yung leader na yun in this society, um, materially, without Krishna consciousness. Pero kapag napahamak yung, ta, yung subordinate or maginawang hindi okay, kuha niya rin yung karma. Automatic yun. But of course, if that um, subordinate of um, that leader, meron sila mga good karma rin, kuha niya rin yung good karma. Meron siya percentage. What is the best is yung mga subordinate niya become Krishna conscious then Krishna is so pleased with him because he is using his um, influence for the people to become Krishna conscious. Not really directly kasi yung ibang tao um, hindi nila magagawa in different levels. Magagawa nila in different levels yung Krishna consciousness, yung pagiging spiritual ng tao. 
You could tell up a farmer na magmok siya. <laughs> he could be um, doing the farming, but just be Krishna conscious. And so has the other positions in society. So he also knows yung Varna and Ashram system, yung roles ng mga society. If he knows yung leader, he knows the roles of the society of the people. He could parang um, lead them well. So mag-work together yung society. Kasi mostly kung mapansin nyo sa society natin, they want just to climb up. Climb up the yoga lad, uh, the career ladder. You know. Some are really born to be um, businessmen or born to be a soldier, a, be a leader. Some are born to be like priests or mga brahman na tinatawag. Some are born to be um, workers. Pero pag pinagpalit-palit mo yung position na yun, magkaagulo. So dahil famous yung isang tao, iboboto ng mga famous na artista yung isang tao, iboboto na nila. So ano yung leadership na magagawa nun? Diba? You observe the leaders that the people have in the society. It's based on um, familiarity lang or magiging famous lang. Versus those who are really in the line of leadership. They're born leaders, magaling sila sa mga family leaders. Hindi lang yung mga corrupt leaders, syempre. Ha? Yung mga um, high standard, first class leaders na may morality and spirituality. Then, they will, yung bringing, yung bringing up nila is how to become a leader. Versus yung famous na tao lang. Pwede naging viral lang siya. <laughs> or naging artista. Or ano mo yun. Tapos they will vote them. Tapos ito yung lalagay mo sa position. So, those leaders know yung mga position ng mga tao na to. Not to discriminate. Not to abuse them. Pero to put people in the right places. So, kung meron kang, like, if you have a company or even few employees or even in a family, you know, hindi mo pwedeng ipush yung anak mo na he's really inclined into music, into arts, right-brainer siya. Tapos gusto mo siya maging logical. Maging rebelde lang yun. <laughs> or may tao sobrang galing niya sa, ma- sa-, sa math, sa pag-create ng system and all. Ipupush mo siya maging um, mag-aral ng fine arts. Hindi siya mag-work. And also, this, um, in the Shriman Bhagavad, it is mentioned, what we have in our society is very um, one shoe fits all education. The advancement or yung intelligence ng isang bata, sinusuwat sa, sa exams na, that are made for a certain type of kids lang. That will not develop yung ibang skills or talents or nature ng isang bata. So, ayun yung palagi big tama yung mga artists, mga musician. And di sila magiging mag-science eh. Pero they will be labeled not smart or they will be um, repeating grades after grades or uh, school after school because hindi na mapasa yung sa ibang subject. Kasi people are not made... Um, na pare-pareho. They're very, um, very unique. So, in society natin, ayun yung um, loophole nun. Tapos, they are aging, they are putting people by their um, age. Eh, kanya-kanya advancement din, di ba? So, imagine, you are not advanced, one is, a person is not advanced in a certain thing. Tapos, as he grows, lagi siya yung kulelat dun sa klase. Pero he's excelling yung mga bagay na pwedeng nag-excel talaga siya. Pero hindi natutuhan yun. So we'll feel like uh, yung self-esteem niya sobrang baba. Diba? Hindi siya inspired. Kasi ganun siya lumalaki yung upbringing. So leaders could see this. Leaders could see uniqueness ng mga tao. And hindi siya puro imbento lang. They have the um, Varna and Ashram system. Doon nang galing lahat yun. Also, a leader could misuse this and could create discrimination 
um, sectarianism or even um, abuse of others because of this. A great leader, um, it is called, they are called Kshatriyas. Sila yung nasa bar na nila yon to protect people. Sila yung nagiging soldiers, just like sila Arjuna. Sila yung nagiging kings, nagiging leaders. And yung mga leaders, hindi sila nag-iisip ng sila lang. They know that they could be a victim of Kali Yuga din. Just like King Parksit, di ba? He, he put the the snake around ng Brahman na yon. Then he was cursed. These leaders have advisors. And ang mga advisors ng leaders are the Brahmanas, the priests. From Kailangan kasi may may, ano eh, may may right combination yung leadership nila with spirituality. What are they do? Um, the things that they're doing, they're doing, kailangan, um, it is spiritual then. So they have spiritual leaders, spiritual advisors rather. They listen to the priests the brahmanas and they have also gurus a great leader you can see them they are great followers they have leaders din hindi yung pinanganak ako ang leader tapos puro subordinate na yung mga tao then they would see you not having a leader so it's not also a good example for a subordinate to become a good subordinate a good um, li, um, student or good disciple kailangan makita nila sa leader nila na good student din sila a good disciple din sila may mga tao na nagasabi hindi, wala, wala akong, ano, wala akong um, teacher wala akong susunod na leader one or the other may influence siya through time, hindi na siya susunod din ng students niya Kasi they could not see the example. A great leader teaches by example. So yan, sobrang lawak na itong leadership um, topics sa Srimad Bhagavatam. If even you read a lot of leadership books, mga leaders sa society, napakalit ng percentage ng neto kumpara sa leadership na galing kay Krishna. And galing sa mga pure devotees. <laughs> they, the, the leaders in the corporate world even studies yung mga leaders ng mga spiritual person. Why and how? The students of those teachers, the leaders in um, spiritual organization or spiritual group, or the ashrams, or mostly they, mostly they study the spiritual leaders of the monks. Kasi the monks dedicate their lives sa mga spiritual masters nila. Ano kapalit? Walang sweldo. <laughs> ano yung motivation? Hindi money. Outside world, ano motivation? Siyempre may sweldo. They have to maintain. Pero that's their exchange. The monks know. And it's not a work for them. <laughs> Sa India, maraming, um, I stayed in, in Pune, India. Mala, yung malaki yung society ng mga monks dun. And those monks they have in the temple, ni sila yung like, normal collegiate or mga graduate ng college. Most of them are PhDs then, master and PhDs. That's Pune, India. So dun galing sila, Gorgopal Prabhu, yung mga influencers, viral na mga monks. Sir Radha Swami, um, disciple niya yung mga yun, mga leaders to. And those corporate worlds, yung mainly na kini-invite nila palagi for um, um, mga leadership seminar sa mga kumpanya nila, yung mga monks, yung mga leaders ng mga monks, mga temples. Of course, they have some um, mga remnants ng culture, pero it is very obvious Mahirap, pag tinagal mo yung money, malalaman mo kung ano yung leadership ng isang tao. 
Tinanggal mo yung position, tinanggal mo yung money. Makita kung sino yung may influence, sino yung susunod, or sino yung um, could inspire really without the exchange ng may sweldo. <laughs> and Krishna and the pure devotees in this Srimad Bhagavatam book shows this. Lalo na pagpupunta tayo sa third canto, favorite ko for leadership yun, si Prito Maharaj. A lot of leaders studies the story of Prito Maharaj. So that's the difference of spiritual leadership. And leadership means the um, inflating the false ego. Hindi pinapalaki yung ulo. A leader is always thinking that he's serving. He's serving the people for Krishna as well. And they are renounced sa leadership nila. At the right time, of course, the advice and security teachers nila, they could leave their leadership position. In our society, di na makalaka, di na makapagsalita. <laughs> People hated them already. Or nasa kulungan na. Gusto pa rin nila leader sila. For what? For um, a lot of reasons. Power, money, and all. Influence. So a great leader could renounce yung position nila or leadership nila if the seniors told them so. Because they follow. Great follower. <laughs> so sobrang importante na ito, abangan natin yung mga stories nito ito, Srimad Bhagavatam. We will learn a lot. Rada Chaya, hindi naman ako, wala naman ako kumpanya eh. You know? If you're an elder in your family, if you're a parent, you're you're a leader. Yung child mo susunod sa'yo. You're the perfect example. You should be the perfect. We should be the perfect example. So, sumutumulay na rito yung fourth question. Dahil nga maraming pinaperform si Krishna sa dito sa um, Srimad Bhagavatam, tinanong ng mga sages sa kanyang saintly persons. Pwede mo ba ikuwento sa amin yung mga lila avataras? Lila is pastimes. Yan. Therefore, speak to us who are eager to hear about the adventures he performs in his various incarnations. Yung kwento ni Krishna in different incarnation niya, avatar, ayun yung ibig sabihin nun, descend, pag descend ni Krishna, incarnation, Gusto nila marinig. Gusto nila mahear yung pastimes nun. Yung bumaba si Gautama Buddha, yung bumaba si Lord Nishingadev, yung bumaba si Varahadev, yung diniscuss natin last time. Si Lord Ram, Ramachandra. Even si Lord Krishna himself. So they wanted to hear yung mga pastimes si Krishna. Or lila avatars. Pastimes ni Krishna, mga incarnation ni Krishna doing the pastimes. Teaching all the lessons. So, nag-request na rito. So, maririnig natin sa Srimad Bhagavatam yung mga pasem ni Krishna. Iba't ibang incarnation niya. Lahat nung incarnation ni Krishna have a lot of uh, magnif- um, magnanimous and magnificent na mga activities. Adventure nga, sabag nila eh. Um, hear about the adventures. May mga incarnation si Krishna na may family siya, may incarnation siya na merong king siya, may incarnation si Krishna na um, student siya, or may incarnation siya na half lion, half human, may incarnation siya na um, ayun nga, yung boar, may incarnation siya na fish, siya yung fish, has napakadami, a lot of variety. Why? Yung variety na yon sobrang interesting sa mga tao. It is mentioned that variety is the mother of enjoyment. Imagine mo, um, ano yung favorite mong pagkain? <clears throat> Kunyari, ako yung very simple. I like dal or mungo, rice, and some pakora. Or let's say, very common, tokwa. You have a rice, dal, and fried tofu. 
Kung favorite mo yon, imagine mo kakainin mo siya ng the rest of your life. Kahit favorite mo siya, <laughs> umay, di ba? Kasi walang variety. The variety is the mother of enjoyment. Bakit maganda yung music pakinggan? Kasi may variety of tunes. Ng beat, ng rhymes. Bakit maganda yung art? Kasi may variety of colors, variety of shapes. Kaya nga siya naging art. Sabi ni Rado Chara, kailangan may variety. No? Hindi, hindi excuse yun para maging ano. Ha? Kung may asawa ka tapos mamababae ka, hindi excuse yun kasi dapat may variety daw. <laughs> Sabi na rada siya, pwede naman pala ako mag-girlfriend ng isa pa. <laughs> of course, siyempre yung variety ng relationship, you have the loving relationships. Gawin mo yun, di ba? Kung ang service mo lang sa partner mo is to always cook, tapos hindi ka nakipag-usap, walang quality time, cook ka ng cook. Diba? Siyempre, walang variety yun. Diba? People love surprises. People love um, um, yung mga new things. Variety. So, si Krishna, sa kanya galing yun. Sa kanya galing yung pleasure, sa kanya rin galing yung variety. Sa kanya galing yung arts. So, we will hear varieties of the past times of Krishna. Minsan, devotee siya. Yung variety ng love niya kay Radha and Shemata Radharan and Kri Krishna. So, the sages wants to hear these stories. The Lila, Lila means avatar. A Lila means pastime. Avatar means incarnation. So, yung mga incarnation ni Krishna performing pastimes. Sabi dito ni Shri Prabhupada, people are attracted sa mga material creation. Kasi yung mga bagay na attracted tayo, perverted things lang siya from the spiritual world. Yung mga actions, yung mga drama, yung comedy, bakit gustong-gusto natin sa movies yon? Kasi we have that desire. Gusto natin talaga makita yon. Pero galing siya kay Krishna. Bakit natin gusto yon? Galing siya kay Krishna yung mga, mga adventure na mga movies, na stories perverted siya na galing sa spiritual world. So, kung mahilig ka sa mga ganon, mga genres of movies, music, ano, mag enjoy ka hearing Srimad Bhagavatam. Lahat, lahat ng war movies, nakarely sila mostly sa Battle of Kuruk, etc. Sa Bhagavad Gita, yung war sa Mahabharat. Doon sila nag Yung Mahabharat nga, Pati mga habarat na story, yung maraming mga um, stories ng mga kingdoms and all, nai-rely nila sa Vedic scriptures. Kasi nandito lahat. Even the love stories. Yung love story lang ni Radha and Krishna, sobrang grabe na. Wala makakapantay. <laughs> and sabi dito, people are attracted. Yung mga less intelligent um, caliber, sabi Prabhupada, are just attracted to false things. But yung mga non-fiction, they're all false. Di ba? Just like the cinemas, just exaggerated or really false. So having the Srimad Bhagavatam, when you read this, mawala ka lang taste manood ng mga movies, ng mga series. Kasi this is the greatest na pwede mo makuha. This is the higher taste. And bakit ginawa ni Krishna to? Hare Krishna Jonah. Yan. Bakit ginawa ni Krishna yung mga pastime na to? Kasi siya yung greatest marketer sa buong uh, mundo. Yung mga less intelligent person, yung mga hindi attracted kay Krishna, hindi sila mga, yung mga attracted sa mga material things, Krishna gave the higher taste for them. So, mas ma-attract sila lalo. That's actually the purpose of Gautama Buddha rin. To make those um, lesser, those who have lesser faith or lesser intelligence attracted to Krishna. Marketing strategy ni Krishna to. 
para matrax sila. Hanggang ngayon, ganun siya ka-effective. Hanggang ngayon. ba? Diba? Yung mga logos niya, nandiyan yung tilak, and tapos yung mga places ng mga ginawa niyang pastimes, andun pa rin. May mga temples. Siya yung pinakamagaling mag, ano, mag-branding and marketing. Andiyan pa rin yung tilak. Andiyan pa rin yung, um, yung mga damit ng mga tao. Hanggang ngayon, ilang generation, ilang libong taon na, galang pa rin. Yung stories, tumutunog pa rin. Yung recall, nandun pa rin. Yung effectivity niya, na-attract pa rin sana na-attract kay Krishna. The greatest marketing ever. <laughs> The greatest branding din. You could have a brand. Ang tanong ilang daan taon lang sa tatatap. Pero Krishna, thousands of years. By such activities, he attracts the conditioned souls of the material world. Ganun siya ka-favorable sa mga conditioned souls. May ka sa action, bibigyan ka ng mga action na pastime ni Krishna. You're a mother, your love for your child, bibigyan ka ng pastime ni Krishna, Mother Yashoda and Krishna. Like brotherhood yung yung um, yung hilig mo, bibigyan ni Krishna ng mga playful pastimes niya with the gopas. Lahat, bibigyan niya sa'yo. Love life, mahilig ka sa romance, mahilig ka sa mga um, love stories, bibigyan ni Krishna yung greatest love story with him and Srimati Radharani. He loved philosophy. Bibigyan niya ng Vedic scriptures. <laughs> even science or even arts. So, he made this for people to be attracted to him. Kasi, we are just attracted sa Maya. Pero sa kanya rin galing yun. Ano yung benefit kapag binigay ni Krishna to? The highest spiritual benefit. Needs to be connected sa kanya mismo. So in the verse 18, ayun dun yung Dila Avataras, sinabi niya, and yung yan, yung sinasabi ni Krishna, habang story to, actually seven days, di, di ba si King Pariksit, sa yung nauna, sa kasasukat ni Vizkuru Swami, seven days sila nagkwentuhan. Binigay instructions. And this one, sa um, verse 19, you could, say, you could see, na si mga sages, they don't have satiation. Never sila nasa-satisfy hearing Krishna's glories, Krishna's pastimes, in these stories. If you have favorite movie, uh, alam mo mga movies, yung mga classic, The Godfather, or um, mga series ng mga movies na uso ngayon sa Netflix, panoorin mo ng tatlong beses. Or baka five times. Kahit kabisado mo na yung, pag nakabisado mo na yung mga um, lines nila doon, darating yung time mag ka. Pakinggan mo yung music pa ulit-ulit. Darating yung time mag ka. Basahin mo yung Harry Potter ng pa ulit Sabi mo 10 times, darating yung time, mag-asawa ka. Why? Because it is material. Nandun yung umay factor. But the spiritual um, scriptures, stories nila Krishna, there's no such thing as satiation. Hindi ka mag You could see people Reading Srimad Bhagavad Gita, reading Srimad Bhagavad Gita, paulit ulit all throughout their lives. Basahin mo nga lang yung Bhagavad Gita, the same verse, magkaibang araw, iba yung realizations, di ba? Iba yung mabibigay sa'yo. Palaging fresh. So these saintly persons wants to hear it. And they're not just like fire. Yung fire, kapag nalagay mo ng log of food, ng, ng mga kahoy, or anything na pwede niya i-burn, hindi siya mag-asabi sa'yo, teka lang, busog na ako. <laughs> no. Habang binibigyan mo siya ng binibigyan, mas kinakain niya. Mas gusto niya. That is the nature ng isang um, spiritual advice na tao. You could let him hear a lot of things about Krishna, about spirituality. He will never be satisfied. 
mas nag-grow pa siya, parang fire. Mas mag-grow yung fire. Yung saint person, mas mag-grow yung love niya kay Krishna. Never satiated. Never tired of hearing the transcendental patterns of the personality of God. Ayun yung sabi sa translation. So, andun yung mga stories na yon. Yung history, you could see sa Vedic scriptures. Sa Srimad Bhagavatam, we will learn yung history ng humanity. From Lord Brahma, tapos the mga main progenitors na mga anak niya, and paano kumalat yung society, kung paano rin connected yung mga personality sa Srimad Bhagavatam nandun. So, andyan yung mga Habarat, yung mga Ramayan, yung mga pastimes nandun. And even hanggang ngayon, you could see there's different places. Yung sa Ramayan, they build a bridge across the sea to save si Sita. Hanggang ngayon, makikita mo siya. May connection yung Sri Lanka from India to Sri Lanka. Yun yung binilad na na bridge. That was thousands of years ago. Hundreds and thousands of years ago. Walang history ka makikita ganun ka um, consistent. Mahabharat was just 5,000 years ago. Ramayan was may, way, may much more older than that. In comparison sa mga um, Greek mythology, well, that's mythology, kinopen lang nila sa mga demigods. But yeah, um, from that um, past times, or yung mga history na yun, mas marami connection, marami, mas marami ka nakita sa Vedic scriptures. So, in the verse 20, tinanong uli dito ng, ah, hindi pa tinanong, pero they follow up the question dun sa verse 12. Yung mga, bakit daw, and verse 12 is the essence of all scriptures. Then, tinanong din nila, ano, ano, hindi 12 yun. Yung 12 is yung kay Vasudev. Bakit pinanganak ko si Krishna kay Vasudev sa kay Devaki? Finalo up question nila sa, finalo up nila sa verse 20. Na ganun ka importante yun. Ano yung pasim ni Krishna? Kasama sila Lord Balaram, sa Brindavan. Kasi that's the essence of Srimad Bhagavatam. Yung story ni Krishna as si Krishna himself. Bumaba siya rito sa material world. Lord Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, along with Balaram, played like a human being. And so mask, so mask, he performed many superhuman acts. Nagpanggap siya na parang tao lang. But he is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He, they wanted to hear more about it. So, habang tinatapos natin itong chapter 1, we will hear much more yung magiging takbo ng story ng Srimad Bhagavatam. By the stories and by the request ng mga saintly person. And sobrang paganda ng paganda yung um, Srimad Bhagavatam. It's a build-up. There will be philosophies, stories, philosophies, stories. Habang papalipit na papalipit kay Krishna, paganda na paganda yung stories, paganda na paganda yung adventures, and paganda na paganda yung relationships that one could develop kay Krishna. So again, thank you very much for joining our Srimad Bhagavatam study on our Monk in the Middle podcast. Tomorrow, I think we will have a guest teacher again. And kung malalaman mo, yung mga monks are very crazy about Srimad Bhagavatam because it's satis- um, it has no satisfaction to read this. At the same time, it gives people the higher taste on life. Ito yung much more detailed um, study ng spirituality. So if you want a copy of this, this is, I think, ganito kalit na, yung sa inyo, sa'yo, 3 na 44 na ganito, di ba? 44 volumes. May mga bigger version na ito. If you want to follow and catch up then, um, you can get the books, the set of books, let me know. Uh, I can send you links also or your website na you could read this. Maraming maraming salamat. And David, catch up ko si David. Hi. Um, you could create David. Um, he's really 
new in the practice and learning more about it. Good morning, Hare Krishna, David. Hare Krishna, everyone. Prabhu, uh, good oh, morning, Paul. Good morning. Yeah, and we will have a class tonight by Navadip Chandra Prabhu regarding um, Little Temple, creating a space. If we attend before, iba yung stories and yung mga lessons from him. So, pwedeng ulitin. And that's very important because when you create a sacred space and a little temple, a little temple in your place, the whole temple will be the whole house will be your own temple. So good morning, Hare Krishna, and thank you very much, Trina Mataji, her old Prabhu, David Prabhu, Riza Mataji, Jinky, Hare Krishna Mataji, and Bhakti Nikita Mataji. I'll see you later. Hare Ball. High five.